Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com, and today I'm gonna to be doing an updated review of Rosetta Stone Spanish. So most people that are new to language learning and have never used an app before usually at least know of Rosetta Stone. They're arguably the biggest name in language learning and have been around forever, so people generally think of them first when they decide to learn a new language. Yet most people don't have any clue how Rosetta Stone actually works or whether it's any good. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna break down how the Rosetta Stone app works, what I like and don't like about this program, and whether I think it's effective as a tool to learn Spanish. And just as a heads up, because I'll just be covering the major highlights in this video and trying to keep things kind of short, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written review of Rosetta Stone over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Rosetta Stone Spanish Review. It's the quickest way to find it. Okay, so to dive right in, I wanna start with how the Rosetta Stone Spanish program actually works. Organizationally, it's a pretty simple course. There are just 20 learning units in the program and each unit is made up of four lessons. So just 80 total lessons in the whole program. And I know your initial reaction to that is probably, that's not too bad at all. But just be aware, the lessons are lengthy and progressively build on each other in each learning unit, so it's no walk in the park. Every lesson is built around a core 30 minute learning exercise, then a number of supplemental drills to reinforce that core lesson. Sometimes it's three supplemental drills, sometimes it's close to 10. It just totally depends. But no matter what, you'll rarely get a full lesson done in under 45 minutes. Most of the time, you're looking at a full hour end to end at the very least. So these aren't exactly bite-sized little lessons you can knock out on your lunch break like with Duolingo. But as for what the actual Spanish lessons are like, the thing you need to know about Rosetta Stone above all else is that their program is very image heavy. Almost every single exercise you'll do in the lessons involves pictures in some way or another. Sometimes the program will say something in Spanish and you match what was said to the right picture. Sometimes it's matching written Spanish phrases to images. Sometimes it's on you to speak in Spanish what's in the image and then get graded by the speech software. And sometimes the pictures are used to teach grammar. Basically, no matter the format, Rosetta Stone primarily uses a combination of immersion and pictures to teach Spanish. The program is clearly built to have you create mental associations between what you're learning and imagery. This sort of cuts English out as a go-between and forces you to rely more on intuition rather than memorization to learn Spanish. And one of the nice things that you don't see with every language app is that Rosetta Stone will start you with one and two word building blocks and then progress to longer, more grammatically complex sentences as you reach the higher levels. Plus, in order to reach those higher levels, you need to score at least 85% during the lesson so you can't just slide your way through, which is annoying, but it is effective. And one last thing I'd like to call out here before moving on is Rosetta Stone's speech recognition software. This is one of the things that Rosetta Stone always gets a ton of credit for. It's called True Accent Speech Recognition and is more or less just what it sounds like. During all of your speaking drills, the tech will listen in and if you mispronounce a word or phrase, it will prompt you to say it again until you get it right. To be honest, it's not my favorite speech recognition software out there, but I'll save my reasoning on that for the pros and cons section of this video in just a minute. But honestly, that's sort of it for the Rosetta Stone program. Around this core of the Spanish course, Rosetta does have a lot of supplemental learning tools like phrase books, short on-demand videos, stories, audio companion lessons, and even some live lessons. But for your day in, day out lessons, that's how it works. And again, by the way, I know I'm kind of flying through this. So if you wanna see some examples of the Rosetta Stone drills and lessons, make sure to check out that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier. I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. I have more screenshots and detail over there so you can get a better feel for what to expect. Okay, so now before I get straight into the individual pros and cons of Rosetta Stone Spanish, let's quickly talk about cost and how they compare to other apps. So Rosetta Stone has three different plans to choose from. There's a three month subscription plan, that's $12 per month. There's a 12 month subscription plan, that's also $12 per month. And then there's a lifetime plan, which is a one-time purchase and gets you access for life to all of Rosetta Stone's languages for $300. And if you're wondering why the 12 month plan costs the same as the three month plan, it's because Rosetta Stone is almost always running a discount or sale on that package. And you can almost always find it for $8 per month. And similarly, the lifetime package, even though it retails for $300, you can almost always find a discount to bring that price down to $180 total. But putting this in perspective, Rosetta Stone is sort of in the middle of the pack in terms of cost. It's more expensive than other Spanish apps like Duolingo and Busu, but also cheaper than other programs like Pimsleur and Rocket Spanish. Their prices are pretty reasonable. Plus, one important thing to note here, which I just touched on, is that Rosetta Stone is pretty aggressive with their deals and special promos, and a lot of times you can find a discount on their Spanish program, so do make sure to check for deals and coupons before buying. 
In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description down below updated with the most current coupons and deals that I can find floating around out there. So make sure to check out that text below the video screen before buying. You might be able to save yourself some money with Rosetta Stone. Okay, so now that we've talked about pricing and how Rosetta Stone Spanish works, let's get into what I like and don't like about it. And let's start with the pros. So the first advantage of using Rosetta Stone as I see it is if you're a big visual learner. Because there are so many pictures and graphics in this program, this app is about the best suited on the market for people that learn visually. Some people are just pure visual learners. They associate the new things they learn with pictures and graphics so that when they hear that word again, the image comes straight to mind. In this way, it kind of cuts English out as a go-between. You directly associate the word you're learning with the raw substantive meaning, not another English word. And because just about every single drill in the program leverages imagery in one way or another, it will be very effective for these types of visual learners. It's great framework. Then, another aspect of the Rosetta Stone Spanish program that I don't think everyone will like, but I do believe is effective, is its use of immersion. Essentially, once you're in the program, there is hardly any use of English. They don't directly give you English directions for each exercise, and not all words and sentences are translated for you. Basically, Rosetta Stone wants you learning somewhat intuitively. They want you to be immersed in Spanish for the length of time that you're sitting there working exercises and frankly struggling a little bit. It's just part of the process. Now, in all honesty, this can be a little frustrating and discouraging because you will get hung up and stuck at times, but if you don't mind struggling at certain parts, it can definitely be effective. And the last advantage of using Rosetta Stone for me is all of the cool extra resources that they provide. When it comes to extra resources, they just load it on. Rosetta Stone offers more supplemental tools than just about every other language learning app on the market. Again, there's phrase books, short on-demand video lessons, stories, audio companion lessons, and even live classes. They just have a really comprehensive bundle of tools for you to learn outside of the core lesson work. So if you're really serious about learning Spanish and plan on dedicating some significant time to this, Rosetta Stone is one of the best for getting immersed with a bunch of different learning tools. Okay, so that's what I like about Rosetta Stone. Now let's switch gears and talk about the things that I didn't necessarily like. But before that, I do just wanna mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free language learning course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win a totally free lifetime subscription to Rosetta Stone. Okay, so the first drawback of the Rosetta Stone program is the lack of grammar instruction. In short, Rosetta Stone is just very light on the grammar. This sort of relates back to the point I made earlier about learning intuitively. Rosetta Stone doesn't just present you with a lesson about how verbs are conjugated or how to use past tense. Instead, they teach you more organically through those picture-based drills that I talked about earlier. And while there is some merit to doing things this way, especially for vocab, I personally prefer more direct instruction when it comes to grammar. I'd rather just have things explained to me in plain English up front about sentence structures and mechanics, and then practice with drills, rather than trying to discover it for myself more organically. I just think this method can lead to frustration. Then, my second negative actually has to do with Rosetta Stone's true accent speech recognition tech. I know it gets a bunch of hype, but personally, I don't really like it. My biggest beef with this software is that it is so oversensitive. I know its aim is to perfect your pronunciation, but there were times when I knew I'd be saying a word or phrase correctly, and it would keep making me repeat it, sometimes three or four times in a row. It just got super annoying, and it made me just want to skip the drill. And I know that having great pronunciation is a major advantage and gives you confidence, but honestly, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that important. Everyone who learns a new language has an accent, and the more important thing up front is actually learning to listen and speak, and then fine-tuning your pronunciation down the road as you hear more of the language. That's just my two cents. And last negative real quick, but I actually think Rosetta Stone could benefit from creating more of a community feel among its users. One of the reasons Duolingo has been so successful is that they've done a great job of building a competitive and collaborative environment among users. Users compete in leagues, connect socially, do friend quests, and generally learn together. If Rosetta Stone just incorporated a little bit of this, I think it would go a long way towards juicing up user engagement. But anyway, that about does it for the details, so time for my final verdict. Is Rosetta Stone a good app to learn Spanish? I would say mostly yes. And I'm hedging a little bit because the answer to this question of course depends on what kind of learner you are. If you're looking for some more traditional audio lessons to learn Spanish, Rosetta Stone is not going to be it. If that's what you're after because you're more of an auditory learner, then I would point you towards Rocket Spanish and Pimsleur. They are great for that. But if you're more of a visual learner and want some more hands-on drills and exercises, then I do really like Rosetta Stone. 
Between their in-depth lessons, immersive framework, and tons of visuals, there is a lot to like here. After 30 years, they clearly know what they're doing, and for active visual learners, I think Rosetta Stone will be really effective for you. But anyway, that's all I've got for you. I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about Rosetta Stone. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you want to see that full detailed written review that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.